When you're creating a table in Notion, it always gives you the option between having an inline table or having a full page table. And that automatically gets into the question, why would you pick one over the other? So I got asked this question by one of my viewers, Simply Neither. Thanks for leaving that comment. I always love getting feedback and I immediately spent some time investigating and also soul searching a bit as to why I pick one over the other. So in this video, I'm going to talk about reasons why I pick page over an inline table and show you some use cases. Now the quickest answer is, is that it doesn't really matter because you can switch between inline and full page at any time and it doesn't really take that much work. I'll show you how later in the video, but you might want to make sure like which choice to make. So we'll dig a little bit deeper in the thought process that goes behind it. Now a page allows for multiple tables in one setting. So why would you even limit yourself to one table per page? And there's two reasons that I pick for it. One is that the full page gives me more of an overview. So if I have larger data sets, tables with a lot of columns, I prefer using the page because then I can see everything at once. But you can also access this by clicking on the expand button that's on the top right of every table. And that gives you roughly the same result. The other main reason that I have for it is because it's data that I'm accessing all over the place. So I'm thinking stuff like my meeting notes database, my tasks database, projects database, anything that's like accessed on multiple parts from Notion, I like to have those in a dedicated page. Now, pages I usually use for dashboards and sometimes for documents. Dashboards because I'm going to use multiple tables to get like an overview of what I need to do or what I want to see or because there's text and links that I need to add to it to make it more useful. And then documents sometimes, but usually documents are already part of a database in my system. So documents are things like meeting notes, which are part of my meeting notes database or part of a project, which part of my projects database. So there are pages become less of a thing. It's usually dashboards that I focus on. The only other exception that I have is if I'm making a page where I have an inline database under it and I want to add some text to the top. This is usually when I make something that I want to share with someone and I want to add some instructions to the top and then have the table. Those are the, the moments that I pick page over a database. Now I promised I'd give you guys an example on how to switch between an inline database and a full page database. So I made a quick example with cat pictures in it because internet and we're going to switch those two around. First of all, we're going to turn this full page database into an inline database. So what I do is I go up a level to the parent node and there I can click on the page menu in the front and say turn into inline. And then clicking that simply turns it into an inline database and then I can drag it around like I can do any of the elements in Notion. Turning it back into a full page database is easy enough as well, except you have to go to the menu on the top right. You click on that and say turn into page and then you'll see it return back to its original form. Now if you want best of both worlds you can use a linked database meaning that you have the full page database the way I use it if I use it to link to others and then create a linked database that is a subset or view into that large data set. Creating that is easy enough you just slash and pick linked database pick the database you made and then you can just adjust it like any other database keep in mind these two things are linked so anything changed here or in the master database is reflected on both sides and that makes it super useful if you want to access the same data in multiple parts of your notion setup i mostly love using the linked databases in dashboards and i love creating dashboards in notion because they help me to have like a jump off platform and to keep me focused on whatever I'm working on. Instead of me having to open 20 tabs or finding the right information, I can just open one Notion page and say, like, this is what I'm working on right now. And by using linked databases, I get all the information that I need front and center. And using links and columns, I can easily access all the information that I couldn't access from Notion. So think like the Jira board, which is uh, something I need for work very often, or a direct link to the email folder that I have in Google Mail. Another nice feature is that you can link to a specific page inside a database. And this is something that I use for projects, for example. So 
I'm making a dashboard and I want it to link to a certain related project and I want to make it easily available, I just type link, type in whatever project name I have and it will turn into this clickable link that will always work and point to that specific project. Uh, this works for me as well for contacts because I got a global database for that and it works for meeting notes. Though in those cases I usually pick a filter because the meeting notes is a database that changes very often because I add new meeting notes and I want those to show up in all the other dashboards and setups that I have and that's when the linked databases come. In a future video I'll talk about how I use linked databases inside templates to make sure that when I open a project it always shows me like the meeting notes and the tasks and the related areas at the same time. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content and it was useful to you. If it was be sure to like subscribe for future videos and remember you're awesome keep it up.